Everybody's all genuine and nice here. <laughs> What's yeah, up, guys? San Joaquin Valley Transparency here with Wrights Crispy, San Joaquin Jr. We're at the Uri County Courthouse, 1888. Please wait for the next available clerk. Do we have to knock or what? Huh? Oh, hey, how's it going? Good, and you? Uh, all right, we're just checking out the area. Mm -hmm. Is the courthouse open? Mm -hmm. um, if you want to go up and watch court proceedings, you can, but everything else is closed. We we have this one, but this one, um, today is Employee Appreciation Day. Uh, uh, so there's a lunch, and so we close so that all the employees can uh, Are they still? Leo, nice to So in other words, you guys closed early today? Yeah. Oh, okay. 11 o'clock. But like I said, if you wanted to go upstairs and sit in the courtroom and watch the court proceeding. Um, I don't know. That would welcome be welcome to do that. It's an open court. That's what we wanted to check. Thank you. Can, can we actually go up there and sit down for a couple minutes? Okay. Yes, you can. But the, the only thing about it is um, you can't ah. record anything. Oh, it sucks. Any pictures, right, ah. Because court is in session. Right? Would, the judge would have to permit that. Would, would would you allow us to at least go into like the lobby and just record really quick and not go into the courtroom? Awesome, dude. Awesome. All right. So in the movie True Grit, uh -huh. you familiar with? I love that with movie. Wayne? So where that plant is, that's where uh, John Wayne did the scene after he walked out of the courtroom. Wow. Heck yeah. Look at that, guys. Yeah, we just had a great conversation with uh, Wilson, Bandit, and your sergeant, um, no, no. Derek. Nice people. It's cool. I'm trying to help out here with the amount of some of the changes and stuff. Sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, court trials are our public hearings, and it's mm -hmm. not to be the public, so. I don't mean to that keep making this go off. Should, Ask the judge for permission for us first in advance, and then we could go. That's the procedure that I find in most courthouses. Well, for recording? No, for the case. Like if we want to go in the room, that's open to the public. So we can record in there? No, 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 you can't no record. that's what I mean. Normally we would go through the court administrator yeah, yeah, and they would yes. ask the judge for permission. Yes. And, yeah. and you have to specify. Right. And there's a form that the yeah. district has. And, and if there's more than one agency, they'll pick one to disseminate it to the other agencies to not have a whole flood of cameras in the courtroom and stuff. True, true. Yeah. Man, well, we might get back. Well, yeah. There's some disturbing stories about your police department. So we'll nice. try to fix that. We the people are supposed to fix it. And, and I gotta say, your department has been very professional, mm -hmm. as yeah. you have been as well. I appreciate we it. the two agencies mm -hmm. in our because yeah. I know the national news will just say you raised. Mm -hmm. yeah. We need to not the, not sure. the not the sheriff's department, guys. Yeah. Not the sheriff's yeah. department. <laughs> sheriff's office is really professional. They never did that before. Man, well, I appreciate you. I guess I won't take up too much more of your time, but I definitely appreciate you. I ask every officer, deputy, uh, trooper uh, this same question. I asked, I asked the uh, your 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 partners over there. Um, but can you give me the five fundamental freedoms of the First Amendment? Well, you have your freedom of speech, okay, and religion falls under that. Yes, and, and Congress shall make no laws that. Uh, um, Prohibit the free expression of that. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have to say verbatim, but do you know the five rights protected under that First Amendment? So you got two so far: speech and religion. Mm -hmm. What um, we're doing. Is right. This I. This is press. I, right, and I, I consider that freedom of speech. Oh, okay. Well, right. there's there's a big difference also, and especially in a limited public forum. And this is education for fun and for free. In the limited public forum, if there was uh, something that happened, let's say I came in here and I wanted to do my freedom of speech and I want to say, hey, down with City Hall, down with City Hall, you can't do that in the limited public forum. Right. In a traditional public forum, you would stand up against strict scrutiny, or right. the, the government would stand up against strict scrutiny. In the limited public forum, they would only have rational review. Hey, we're trying to conduct business here, he was being loud. 
Now the difference in those freedom of expressions, which are the press and freedom of speech, is that here I can prepare my song and right. not sing it. Right. I can prepare my story and not say it here. So that's where we have a little bit more protection in the little mm -hmm. public forum as, under press. So, right. Right. but the other two. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah wow. Are uh, <laughs> peaceably assembled. Right. And to go belly ache and seek redress for our grievances. You're exactly right. And you you almost had it down verbatim. That was freaking awesome. Yeah. No, hardly uh, no cops that I ever encountered. They can't. They can't get it yet. To the respect of religion or the pra free practices right. there. Right. And then um, the the prohibits religion or or the free practices. Yeah. yeah. Um, and like I said, recording, that's just freedom. That's yeah. freedom. Right. Right. And then unless you have something high, it shouldn't bother you. Huh? But the the, the only thing that I would object to is if you took the camera and put it here. Right. 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 I wouldn't do say, that. Yeah. Hey, they put it in my face. And I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're, we're in a tight space, and I'm doing my best, not you know, to pull it back a little yeah. bit. I mean, giving you she that space. because you have, you know, right. your 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 right. space, right? Yeah. Limited space. And when you get here, and yeah, it's like, right, 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 right. You know, and I've seen people, you know, on television and that, you know, they've got their cameras in the officer's face. Hey, yeah, it, it blinds him. You know, it's something that's right, right there that he can't. The observing around, and or that's she. something that we won't do, and we set ourselves apart by doing it cordially and respectfully. We'll get out of the way. Actually, we'll get out the way, guys. But, uh, so where are you guys out of? You look familiar, like I've seen you before. Right, <laughs> that's my channel. Okay. Does my voice sound familiar? I'm um, from Florida. I encounter a lot of police. I ask questions. I try to be respectful. That way, yeah. I can have an open dialogue. Um, Maybe you're thinking of Fred Savage of the Wonder Years. <laughs> you know, yesterday I had Ben Steen's double in here too. Oh, well. Now, this is a true thing. <laughs> Last week I had John Wayne's double in here. Oh, yeah. Wow. And, um, he's a, a doctor out of uh, Oklahoma. And he, he made it here for that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. But it's like, I'm looking at you and I'm going, <laughs> I just can't place you. Well, he has 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, so it's possible you've seen him. It, it, it could vary. He has well. five times that much. Half a million. <laughs> this is his channel. And, and I try to be respectful, like I said. I try to Some have an open dialogue, and I think that's what's garnered a lot of the support on our channels because we try to you know, understand what's going on, you know, how you guys do your policing, and well, we that, try to educate people on their natural rights. And, and what I was saying about the star shine and snowflakes melt, that happens with sunlight. The light of transparency. Mm -hmm. That sunlight will show what happens. Yeah. Yeah. And you can react. The only power you have, or we have, is your reaction, right? And you can assess our, like, demeanor. We're not a threat, you know? You made your you, threat assessment, right? Yeah. <laughs> that some agencies, man, they'll pull a gun on us. They put us on the ground. Why? Because I have a camera? This is a camera, not a gun. Right. And we have to change that. I want my kids to look at you with respect instead yeah. of fear. And that's one big thing too. You know, I see a lot of kids that, um, you know, uh, um, just flip off cops and yeah. And that. yeah. I want kids not to be able to be afraid of me. Right, right, right. And be able to come up and talk to me. Um, need to talk to them. You know, it might be just, hi, how are you doing today? Right, I right, right. Recorded. <laughs> I got it, I got it, you can use it. And, 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 and I gotta say, you're, you're, you're an example of that. Yeah. Uh, and other, hopefully other, other deputies, troopers, cops, officers will see this and know how to talk to the public, even if there's a camera, and the public will know to come and ask questions and say hello, you know? And, and that's, that's a big thing. Um, we're here to serve the public. Right. Some people right. think that's a crime. Yeah. You know, and it's an entitlement. And, and other people and we don't love flip that. off the cops. I love we that. We flip off corruption. We flip off those badge heavy guys that make your job more difficult. And yeah. once we get that on camera, we send it to your command staff and hopefully they make the corrections to the yeah. behavior. The the sad thing is, you know, roughly the census population says there's three hundred and thirty six million people in the United States. Yeah. Do you know how many law enforcement officers? Of the United States, forty thousand okay. in New York. <laughs> okay, don't don't count the military, just right. law enforcement. Right. Okay, and I'm not doing any disrespect to the military, police, yeah. and our armed yeah. forces, but for um, there's only eight hundred thousand. You can come through. All done. 
All done. Right. Take care. Thanks, buddy. Oh, that's a snappy concept. <laughs> <laughs> Love the suit, man. Yeah. But, um, you know, if you do the numbers on it, uh, a law enforcement officer, one officer is responsible for 240 people 24 hours a day, seven days a week, if you take 800,000 into 336 million. Right. Yeah. It, uh, that's, those are disproportionate numbers right there. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm a veteran, he's a veteran as well, so right, thank you guys. we know where it comes from. We swore that oath, you know, yeah. there's no expiration yet. No, no. And, uh, you know, the longer I, I served, because my hash marks aren't, aren't the whole story, you know. Um, what well, branch? No, no. Oh, so another agency before him? Where's that? In Illinois. Oh, oh where? Center of Chicago. Oh, okay. Have you ever heard of Hammond, Indiana? Yeah. Yeah. I'm working on a story from there. Like, we discover some things, like people are abusing the company credit card or the city credit card and buy edible arrangements, but then we have horrible stories where a cop pulls over a guy and somehow a block later the guy shot himself and there's no body cam footage, there's no dash cam footage. And when I'm looking for that and I'm asking for it and I have to go to the Attorney General of Indiana and it's still getting this wagon circled, I'm looking for it and I find another story where they did a pit maneuver on a guy in a U-Haul truck and sent him into the Calumet River and he drowned. And that family is fighting to get the body cam and dash cam of that and they won't give it to them either. So I'm, I'm never going to get mine either. That stuff has to stop transparency and get rid of the bad cops. The bad actors have spoiled the bunch in most places. You see the, the captains and lieutenants acting like, uh, forgive me, jack boots, you know? And, and really like not knowing that. It, it's, it, you don't have authority over us until we commit a crime. It's the other way around. And I don't know my way around. And, and, and that's, a, that's a consensual, you know, up to the point that a crime's occurred, everything is consensual. So if I'm going right. to yeah. you, I come up and don't make and I talk to you. Yeah. Right, right, right. Can I get your ID is an insult to me sometimes because that's my Fourth Amendment right to be secure in my papers. Sure. Now, you are only asking because you suspect me of a crime. Do I look like a criminal? Not you, but you know, in that oh, example. No, no. So I always stand firm on my Fourth Amendment right and don't tell people my name. Or, you know, because how am I supposed to do my job if I can't come up to you? You know, some people look at it, there's a law. And it's like, how can I do my job if I can't come up to you and go, hey, can I talk to you? Because you might have seen something. Yeah. And, not, and, and it not be in an accusing way. Right, yeah. right, right. Exactly. That good policing, mm -hmm. community policing, not broken windows. Yeah. You know, that, that kind of stuff. That maybe in, in Times Square in the 90s that was necessary, but it's over now. Let's not do that anymore. Yeah. You, know? you know, in my career, I've seen a lot of changes because I started in 86. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't believe how many agencies. You, you know Sheriff Grady Judd, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's. he's Who doesn't? <laughs> he refuses, and his deputies are proud of the fact that they don't have body cameras. My name's Scott. Yeah. I, I was watching you. <laughs> Sorry, I was just waiting for those people to come down. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Um. Are, are we holding? Are you attorney? To, so. No. No. Oh. <laughs> something. Something. It sounds like they're done. Okay. So. Um, yeah, we gotta get on the road. What, is that? Would I be able to take pictures of the or video of the pictures in the hallway there? Sure. Yeah. Sure. We'll let you guys come out. All right. I'll put should, it down. I'll put it down. That should be everybody. <laughs> See, awesome. Yeah, All right. I, can you guys do me one favor? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to let you in the building, uh -huh. but I do need you to go through security. Sure. Okay. So, All right. right back there is a rubber band container. All right. If you don't mind, anything that might set up, I'm not open to that. All right. Yeah. Let's just you can. Find, and I don't you talked about. Um, you know, freedoms, and one of them is you have the freedom to vote or not vote, mm -hmm. right? Right. Oh, how's it going? You're here for? All right, we're closed. Are you actually closed? Um, because it's on play appreciation day today, and so we close at 11 o'clock. We'll reopen Monday at 9. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you <laughs> so, like I said, see that uh, glass box on the table uh -huh. uh, down the hallway? That's called the McNulty ballot box. The guy that invented it, patented it, was from here. And the, the glass is put in it in such a way that if you try to pry it open, it would shatter and all the ballots would be considered void. Oh, wow. And it wow. took 
the county clerk and then um, party members, you know, from Democrat and Republican, all keys at the same time to pull the ballots right. out to come mm. safely. Right. So, you know, you talk about history. This building is 136 years old this year. A lot of the furniture inside of it's still original. Wow. wow. Yeah, that, that writing desk. Yes. Yes, that, that, that was delivered and paid for in December of 1888. And that's wow. your desk, Leo? Yes. No, no. You, deserve, <laughs> you deserve all the comments. I wasn't here when it was delivered, though. Wow. <laughs> that's <laughs> awesome, I man. I activated my camera, but this whole time we've been having a really pleasant conversation with Leo Reference. And you guys can watch it on San Joaquin Valley Transparency because I got it all. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, please subscribe to Make sure you go Valley subscribe to Rice Christie. And, and this guy right here is awesome, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm going to go check out this uh, hallway here. Keep my, my voice down a little bit. I don't want to really disrupt anyone. But there's a lot of history in this small little town, guys. A lot of history. Hopefully you guys can see some of this stuff and pause it. Hopefully I get it to where you guys can actually read it. No more room? Damn, is it, is it gonna save what you recorded? Half of it. It's alright. Here, use my. I'm gonna fix it right now. court clerk, public restrooms located downstairs. So there's an upstairs to the building and downstairs as well. I don't know what this room is. The county administration, court clerk. Look at this guys. Some history right here. I don't see anybody in here. They got like a uh, metal detector here. Is this the jail? This is like the jail, dude. Been how they locked public records back in the day, dude. Uh, That's the only protector problem. Dang, it's steel. See if I can make it upstairs, guys. Do you hear anyone? The court clerk. The hearing room. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I was just looking at everything. How are you? Yeah, I'm just documenting this beautiful building, okay. historic building. You mind if I get your name? I'm Stacey Kiel, I work for the court, but I would prefer not to be in your video. Oh, Thank well, you. you do work for the public, right? I'm sorry? You do work for the public? Sure, yeah. Yeah, I'm just recording and yeah. asking questions. Thank you. Yeah. I think she wants to go work in the private sector, but... 
messed with her. I educated her that fast. What a beautiful building, guys. This place is, it's a historical building. Look at this, this wood piece right here. I'm guessing it's really old as well. They even have the slots for the key. These can only be opened by key. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Do I use my phone? Hmm. First the camera button. Oh, that's the courthouse? In the movie Purdue, you oh, wow. see the chairs. The chairs are original. Wow. The railing's original. When John Wayne finished testifying, there used to be a swinging gate uh -huh. up here. The attorney tables, those are original. And the left portion of the judge's bench is original. Wow. Now, this is the bar. When people talk about the bar and they try to say Purdue Shadow and people, no, this is what the bar is. It's what separates the people from the officers of the court. Yep. So, um, when we did our restoration four years ago, or six years ago, we reopened four years ago, they had come in here, scraped away the paint layers for many years, got down to the original colors, the original hand painted stencil that was in the room, and then they replicated it. Wow. This is what it looks like the 130s. So is the judge done for the day? No, no, we still have six more defendants that might show up or parties show up. Right, um, okay. At one point. We okay. get called sovereign citizens a lot, but we're not being offended a lot. We're not saying it all. <laughs> and this is this is imagine sitting here in court though looking at the mounds you're like man will i lose my freedom i won't be able to see these beautiful mountains for a little while you know, just up looking at the chairs uh-huh you put your coats over that and you push those bars up and there's hat racks oh wow there is like like big hats yeah wow dude look at that the chair has a hat rack under it and the coat thing on the back. Yeah. Um, your personal experience, you were in the military. So when you're in the military, your freedoms and what you had there, how does that reflect the uh, you know, the military? Actually, I didn't know when I was swearing my oath to, like a lot of police officers. I didn't know the first the amendments like I know it now. And so as far as that, I, I, I was 17 years old. <laughs> I kind of, I was kind of a different story. I took uh, AP government in high school, so yeah. I kind of knew what my rights entailed and everything. And when I signed up at 17 years old, I knew I'm becoming a propagate of the government. Mm -hmm. I don't get to have rights anymore. I get to do whatever. Well, I knew that. Fun. <laughs> you still got to vote, though. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, I was in um, artillery school in Fort Hill, Oklahoma. Okay. When I was told to vote a certain way. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. You don't hear that mentioned though. Yeah. Yeah. You it know? does happen though. A lot of people will, uh, you know, it's just like any other job, right? People will start being like minded. Mm -hmm. And then the minute you have a different opinion from those like minded people, they start to like push you away and outcast. Just like any other group.
It was it was a tough choice. It was a guy playing a saxophone or the former head of the CIA. <laughs> <laughs> that was my first one. One thing I discovered since I started my channel was that uh, most cops that I encounter, they don't seem to know the First Amendment, at least the First Amendment. So I took it upon myself to just start asking over and over again to, so that the whole country can see this pattern, you know, and that's why I'm glad that you're able to at least start it off verbatim and, you know, mention a few of th these fundamental freedoms that we have. And I want to change that, man. I want to make sure that every cop, they don't just swear an oath to the Constitution and not really know that oath that they're swearing to, it's right? I, I have got to give the kudos to my eighth grade United States government teacher. Bob nice, Bear, you know, nice. Um, because Do you remember he, their name, um, by any chance? Edward Stumbo. Wow. He's passed away, but... Um, uh, this is a big crowd to hear that. They watch that. Shout out, shout out to, what's his name again? Edward Stumbo. Edward, yeah, Stumbo. Edward Stumbo. It was a, his eighth grade teacher who taught him about the Constitution. Yeah, we went constitutional law, and when uh, I was in eighth grade, you were required to pass that class to go up into high school. Mm -hmm. Right, and nice. so going over and understanding and learning about it, you know, it's sad that places don't teach it. Right, yeah. yes, yeah. exactly. That's why we've kind of had to take it to YouTube and social media to make sure that we educate ourselves, our families, each other. And this community has grown grown and it's getting big now we have auditors or people recording and asking questions from sea to shining sea everywhere in between you know the, our friends in the uk in canada australia people are picking up cameras recording asking questions and we're uncovering patterns we're able to see what's going on and how policing is being done mm -hmm. and it, it seems like you know you guys are sometimes trained in brute force and compliance you guys swear an oath to the constitution i'm not saying you because obviously you you, you did good man and uh and so just, we've kind of seen that pattern by recording and asking questions. And because we now we recognize the pattern, now hopefully we can actually change it and make cops. And I don't even think we have to pay for that training. They should know it before they even apply for that job. It's like it's like hiring a mechanic and this guy doesn't even know what a, a carburetor is. You know what I mean? It's like- well, Just yesterday- There should be a foundation. Right. However, um, people that immigrate here, you know, have to learn the constitution. Right, so oh, I, right, right. I wholeheartedly agree um, with that. And it doesn't matter from wherever that they have to learn it. So, right. You know, if you have a, a little bit of knowledge, you know, law enforcement, yeah, you have to have, a, you know, knowledge. It's like, well, I just want a job. No, if right. you just want a job. Yeah. Right, right. Well, check this out. Just yesterday, we were driving to the Black Canyon. We went through Delta. Yeah. And saw a Colorado Street trooper pull someone over. And we asked him the five protections covered. He didn't know that. But then when you said, hey, you look like you work for two different agencies, he gave the whole history on his uniform and how that's the code. And it's like, when we were in the Marine Corps, they gave us a lot of Marine Corps history in boot camp. We learned that. So it's kind of like November 10th, 1775. My Marine Corps came alive. <laughs> <laughs> my Crocs. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, something that maybe they should focus more on that more important you know, the uniform history, which is, I, I understand that a rich tradition should be celebrated, but we have an even more rich tradition. Mm -hmm. And as I haven't seen any blue uh, Lives Matter flags out here. But is that like prohibited? There are some, but there, it's not prohibited. Okay. But there I, are I agree with the blue line flag, that's the dark field with the blue stripe on it, and fallen officer. But that blue line, Lives Matter flag, that just came out in, the pro, in opposition to Black Lives Matter, and uh, regardless of how you feel either way, we have a beautiful flag that we all stand under right there, red, white, and blue. And to draw a line between you and the people, literally, in some agencies, they refuse to take that down. You know, and it's interesting, people will stand and, you know, well, this is the only flag. No, you don't know their country history, but you're right. the one with the snake. Yeah. Don't tread on me. That is right. just two under, there's two True. under. Yeah, the gas flag. But there's two flags that can be flown. Yeah, under the UNW and the state flag. Right. Well, those are under, but the two flags from the United States that can be flown, that gas flag is mentioned, yep. you know, next to it. And a lot of people don't see that, understand it. It's like, go back and read the history before you want to argue. That. Yep. That's the first Marine Corps flag. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah, I that's awesome, that man. House Glad you know that. That's cool. Time to time. I, I, and that's the thing is I honor our flag code. And I was just at the uh, the Black Canyon, 
and they had the flag at full staff. And I said, hey, it's Police Officer Memorial Week. It should be at half staff. And they corrected it. And, and, it's cause, and I said, I don't mean to be like a Karen about it. I'm, yeah, I take it seriously. And some mm -hmm. people think it's silly for me to say that, but they, those people treat that like a logo instead of a symbol that it is. Yeah. Like if you see what's happened in Hong Kong, they're trying to fight for independence, and what flag are they waving? Ours. That's the symbol that I need. Other people have it on their tire cover and it runs, literally. You the know? funny thing about it is, that's... That's an improper display. Of exactly, yeah. exactly. Don't wear a bikini when you're flying. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wear it on your butt. <laughs> you know, even the people that wear, you know, the blazers, you know, that it's a, it's like that is an improper display. Yeah. The, the Shout out to C.J. Grisham, an attorney out of Texas who does that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know him, but uh, out of all the uh, law enforcement that I've encountered, uh, you got to be at the top yeah. for being a professional and carry wisdom. In five years of me doing this, I agree. Thank you. Yeah. Tops. Rasmussen. Class My name's David. Thank you. David. My senior and junior. Yes. Senior and junior, yes. Okay. And Fenton. Okay. Uh, you go by Fenton. Uh, I go by Fenton with my friends. Okay. You guys, I just want to say that this is what I like to see right here. Yes. Um, professionalism. You know, they kind of already closed the courthouse, but he opened it up for us to come around, look, ask questions. He gave us some history of the town, of the area. And uh, th in my opinion, this is a successful audit it's a pass and uh shout out to the uray county um sheriff department because er all the sheriffs the deputies even the county deputy deputy sheriff deputy yeah he was uh, respectful as well lopez i think it was and uh this is what i want to see guys um current county wherever i'm from this guy is cool man let's do it <laughs> So yeah, guys, we just did a First Amendment audit here at the Ure County Courthouse and uh, Deputy Rasmussen, is that how you pronounce yes, it? He was very professional. He uh, let us walk in, even though it was closed for the day, he let us go in and take a look. He kind of gave us some uh, history of the building and uh, we definitely appreciate your professionalism, man. And I want every other cop, trooper, deputy that sees this video right here, this is what we want to see. This is why we do what we do. And this man was very professional. Here, here. I just want to say thank you, man. Thank you. All right, bro. Have a wonderful day. All right. Thank, thank you. And again, thanks for your service, guys. Yes, yeah. sir. Thank you. Thank you for all your service, too, man. And I can tell it's honorable. We need more like you. A lot more. All right. So the before you leave, so in the movie True Grit, yeah. True Grit. there's one other scene. Uh-huh. The, where the scene for the rattlesnake is, it's up that valley a little bit. Nice. Yeah, so from the rattlesnake, then you go over here to the Twin Peaks up here. Uh -huh. and then Twin Peaks is in the movie. Oh, oh okay. wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm going to watch True Grit tonight. Yeah, well, yeah we are. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I was going to tell Derek to. to Hey, write some, write my son's channel on there too. Right. Don't be afraid to leave me some comments and let me know how I can improve on my work as well. Uh, you saw that word that I had there? You know what you get if you uh, spell uh, drug, duh, draw, dab up backwards? Uh -huh. A bad word. A bad, A bad word. word. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> right. Take care, guys. Later. That's what's up, guys. That was freaking awesome. What an amazing time I had in Ure. This is uh, probably one of the nicest small towns that I've ever been to in my entire life, guys. The people here are fantastic. Um, a couple of public servants that work in that building over there, as you guys seen on the last video, or maybe the next video, depends on when I post this one. Um, they didn't want to be recorded, but we educated them swiftly. No problem. You guys, Sam King, you guys go subscribe, Sam King Jr. Subscribe, Rights Crispy. Yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Peace out.